Shalom, brothers and sisters. So I'm going to touch on this one, even though I, I normally wouldn't. But yeah, no, I need to say a few things here. Former President Donald Trump announced on March the 26th his collaboration with country singer Lee Greenwood to promote the God Bless the USA Bible, encouraging people to buy it and make America pray again. All Americans need a Bible in their home. I have many. It's my favorite book, the presidential candidate, former candidate said in the video posted to his Truth Social. I think you should all get a copy of God Bless the USA Bible now and help spread our Christian values with others. There you have it. Let's make America pray again. God Bless the USA Bible features the King James Version translation. No problem there. Costing $60.00. It includes a handwritten chorus of Mr. Greenwood's famous God Bless the USA song. It includes the US Constitution. It includes the Declaration of Independence. It includes the Bill of Rights. And it includes the Pledge of Allegiance. Some of you might think it's a great idea and it's awesome and good for you. I'm not here to fight with you. I'm saying I have a problem with that. I have a problem with adding anything. If I pick up a study Bible, for example, my wife was looking for a decent study Bible the other day. She picked up a nice study Bible and she said, wow, this one looks great. And I said, okay, let's open it and look. 40% word of God, 60% word of man. It is more about man and his thoughts and opinions and everything than the actual word of God. How about 80%, 90% word of God with some notes on the bottom from you because you are ultimately not important. God is and the Holy Spirit is going to help with the interpreting of this word. And I don't like things that are added in that are not Bible related. Add biblical maps. Absolutely. Add the journeys of Paul and those maps. Add things about the Hebrew and the Greek. Add those things. Add strongs. Add things that give in and help you study the word of God. And I'm sorry, even if you love your country, the Pledge of Allegiance, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, the U.S. Constitution is not part of the Word of God. By all means, be proud if you want to be proud, if you can still be proud. Don't go put it in the Bible. Okay, that's my first problem right there. And again, I'm picking a fight. That's me. I like the unadulterated, not added to, not taken away from word of God, inspired by God. That's just me. That's the way I approach these things. Number two, come on, Trump, $60. How about you buy a couple of million and hand them out for free if you're dead serious about making America pray again? <sighs> Let's not use the Bible as a prop. To push political values and parties. Let us let the Bible speak for itself. And let us give Bibles to people. That is why I buy Bibles. And I give them away to anybody and everybody who needs them. Because the word of God should be free. This is what Islam and those people are doing right. They're handing out their evil books for free. We should be giving the truth to as many as we can for free. No agendas, sharing the hope that is within us that we have received from Christ with the world. So that's my 10 cents. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.